now we are in Airbus A320 full flight simulator and it is great opportunity to see how it looks from the inside. So my colleague Arturas will do an introduction. Let's begin. The front side of the simulator is the same replica of Airbus A320. You can recognize the same seats, panels, instruments, knobs, everything the same as in the aircraft. The rest of the simulator is specifically designed for the simulation. There is an instruction operation station. Also you can see the seats for another students or examinators. Now I will introduce you what instructors can do with this workplace. I'm sitting in an instructor place. The first step is to select the desired airport. Let it be Madeira Airport. After selecting an airport, we need to perform the reposition. During reposition, you can notice the moving stabilizer trims, even throttles, and the screen becomes blank. It was designed intentionally to do not disturb the students of the sudden change of the visual. Reposition can take between 20 seconds to 1 minute. It depends on actual simulator configuration. When the reposition is finished, we can configure the aircraft configuration. For example, we can add some fuel to the left, center and right tanks. Also we can adjust the center of gravity and the aircraft weights like a zero fuel weight and total fuel which equals the gross weight. To operate the aircraft, you need some services. For example, close the aircraft doors. After closing doors, the aircraft is ready to pressurize body. In the simulator, you can simulate any time of day. Right now is day, but you can change to dawn, dusk or night. Also, you can change the visibility between CAT1, CAT2, CAT3 or custom, which significantly reduces the visibility. Also, we can adjust the weather conditions. You can change the temperature, you can adjust icing condition if temperature is below zero, the air pressure, inputs the rain, some turbulence and even can uh, call up for a wind shear. Instructor has an opportunity to watch entire speed on the map. Here he can notice the aircraft position and the radio stations like a VOR NDB, ILS, etc. Each simulator has a possibility to perform a hot print copy, which is very useful for the briefing. And finally, the most complicated situation is malfunctions. The instructor can select each virtually possible system malfunction. For example, air conditioning, auto flight, onboard maintenance systems, electrical power plant, and the rest of aircraft systems. When entering malfunction, normally it is possible to invoke malfunction right now or arm to get involved during desired conditions. For example, after reaching specific indicated airspeed, after reaching specific altitude, heading, or time. If malfunction is no more necessary, we can clear it. 
and the system becomes normal. Hopefully, you will see malfunctions only in the simulator. Have a nice flight!